Yesterday, we were introduced to the brand new Super Troop inside of Clash of Clans, the Super Archer, usable for anyone that's Town Hall 11 through Town Hall 13. Now, yesterday, I decided against bringing you a video introducing this troop so that today I could find a strategy that she dominates within, and then you can use that strategy because today I'm going to be breaking it down here for you guys, I did find a strategy and it's a spam attack, which I know many of you guys are just in love with. So I'm gonna be bringing this one to you guys for you to train up, try out, and triple bases no matter where you are. Just go crush some bases with the Super Roger. What's up my friends, my name is Echo and I guess before we go into anything more, we should take a look at the composition that we're looking at right here. Notice we have 11 Super Archers which are being covered by my frame, I should actually move that all, there we go. We have one Wizard, we have three Yeti, a bunch of Ice Golem coming in. Now the cool thing about these Super Archers my friends is that they shoot through, they get some splash damage plus their range is insane. So you can get some really nice range out of them, maybe even striking some of those defenses that are deeper than you could typically get with other troops. So really, you're going to see some massive value. And what this strategy that we're looking at here today reminds me of is kind of like an old school bow witch strategy, except for in this case, you're going to have your ice golem across the front line. You're going to have your Yeti in the center going with your healers as, with your heroes as well and then you're gonna spread out about 11 of those super archers across the back lane. Now, they do take up more camp space than a typical archer, which only takes up one, but they also are a lot stronger, and they have that through splash damage. Look at them going after that Inferno Tower right there. Now, yes, they don't get it down, but they have the range to get into those compartments that are usually not accessible. So that's gonna be bringing in some really nice options for our different attack strategies. And like I said today, we have Madness out of the Scrappy Wizards with three different examples of this attack. And after that, guys, then I have something even, maybe not even more special, but something else that's special as well. So four different attacks shown inside of today's video and uh, really giving a good highlight to these super archers. You're gonna see the composition that you should be training up right here. And also notice he was coming in with the stone slammer, 11 super archers. We have six ice golem, three Yeti, dominant hit. And we have a second example as well against a base that looks very similar, at least the core of this base looks similar to mine that's been dominating in Legends League. So let's see what he does. Lines up all of those ice golem across the back. All the Yeti, which are only three right in the core, right behind the Ice Golem. Then your heroes, Super Archers are spread behind as well. Stone Slammer coming in from the corner of the base. Literally all of the troops are already in the attack except for the uh, Royal Champion. So that hero has been held, at least for the time being. She usually is held a little bit later so we can see where the pathing goes. Actually, she's coming in right over here. Maybe it was the next attack where he held her, I don't recall. But we have a dragon coming out of that stone slammer as well. To be honest with you guys, I don't think it matters what you put in the stone slammer. You could even throw some hog riders, some Valkyries in there and see some really good uh, production out of your siege units. Now, the cool thing about the ice golem in this attack is, you know, they get tanks. They're, they're your tanks. But then when they get taken down, they freeze everything within a wide range. Look at this freeze going on. So all these troops are safe for the time being and they're not able to be targeted. Then you have the couple of Yeti with those Yetamite taking down defenses, the splash damage from the Super Archers. I mean, look at those girls shoot. Right up there in the northern part of the base, they have some massive range, able to take out multiple structures at one time. And I mean, we're gonna see them in good use right now. There's some good uh, Super Archer action up top. We have the Queen down below with her regular Archers, one Super Archer behind. Wouldn't that be cool? A queen with super archers as well. Maybe I'm on to something there. Let me know what you guys think so far of the super archers. Have you been using them? If so, do you like using them? Do you think they're worth the camp space? Or are you a town all ten or below and not able to use them? I guess you could get them in your in your clan castle as well, right? So you could get them donated if you want to bring some 
to the battle. But another triple for Madness right here as he pulls in the 100% and again, there's your CC and army composition. And okay, we have another example. This one, he was just oh, hanging out here, not in Legends League, but he ran into a, uh, a Town Hall 12 in Titans. Well, this Town Hall 12 has no hope. No hope whatsoever. Look at the dominance of this attack. Again, we're kind of just relaying how you put up and how you set up this attack. Two jump spells, one on each side of the base, allowing all this kill squad to dive in. You line up your ice golem, the yeti, you're gonna go right in between heroes, in between that and across the back, just like you would do with your witches in a bow witch attack, you come in with those super archers. And because they have the range and they have that through splash ability, kind of like the magic archer, in Clash Royale. Hmm, pretty similar now here, guys, aren't they? Not the strongest, but they have some long range and they can shoot through their targets. So yes, very much like the Magic Archer inside of Clash of Clans. By the way, let me know whose videos you watched yesterday featuring this strategy. I know that I saw Clash Bashing with a video. I saw Judo Sloth with a video and I saw Beaker's Lab all featuring videos introducing you guys to the super archers like i said guys i decided against doing this because i knew so many people will be bringing you that video you didn't need to see it from another creator so instead we put together this one with a strategy that you can use and this is a strategy that is a spam strategy which many people are going to say it doesn't take as much skill it takes less practice you can just kind of set it all up and let the attack do its own thing so what do you guys think is this spam for you I think so. And I promise you something different towards the end of the video, and this is another super troop attack. This one being with 45 or so super barbarians. Watch this base get completely crushed by super barbs. Literally only super barbs and those party wizards are gonna be going on in behind that wall wrecker. Grand Warden's gonna be there with that clutch ability. The hero's diving in as well. I mean, this was pretty impressive that the Super Barbarians could do such a nice job on this base. The Wall Wrecker is going to be struck hardcore in this core of the base, and it does go down uh, pretty soon right here. There we go. And it, what what comes out of there? I can't even see. Is Oh, it's a Yeti Bomb. Okay, cool. So the Yeti are going to dive on through. This is a Town Hall 13 V Town Hall 13 attack as well. So we're, we're not looking at a dip like we just saw in that last one. But look at this, guys. The base surprisingly got cleared fairly easily dropping the free spell on the town hall on the scatter shot gonna allow for these troops to get an extra few moments of uh, of safety and then they can push right on through the town hall and grab that triple which is is pretty crazy guys it's it's pretty darn crazy that it went that well for fur out of the scrappy wizards hmm crazy Actually, this is for against the Scrappy Wizard. Seabass actually showing an attack against his base. Wow, that was crazy. So let me tell you what, guys, that actually made me want to hop in and play a little Clash myself. So I have an army trained up, ready to go in Legends League. It's using those Party Wizards, seven Ice Golem. The super troop that I'm using right now are those super wall breakers. We're going to go in and attack and, you know, I've been doing pretty good with the two stars on these. Hasn't been the best, but it hasn't been the worst. You know, we've been doing okay. So what I do, I go with an Ice Golem and a couple of Party Wizards on the outside. I do the same thing over here. That's going to be setting our funnel. And then I literally am going to throw everything right here. We're going to go with a, a, a Poison Spell there. We're going to go with more Party Wizards. One of those. We're going to get the heroes in here. And I can most likely go ahead and go in with the Siege Barrack as well. Because we're not going to need anything to uh, to go in and snipe out that town hall. We're gonna rage all these guys up, and to be honest with you, it's not going, my, my super wall breakers never made it to the wall. Okay, here we are. We're gonna rage up everything right in here. We're gonna actually heal them too. Just get a whole heal going on. Talk about spamming in troops. I am totally, totally doing that, and that's okay. I have one more freeze, and I'm gonna probably use it on the eagle right here. I'm gonna couple, couple more um, party wizards along the outside. We do have a jump spell, which I'm going to use right here to allow these troops to jump on in to the core, popping that Royal Champion's ability. We're getting the Queen. She's going to make her way around as well. We're at 47% right now. We got the King in there. We're going to have to pop his ability soon because he is being targeted by that single, but we will take it out right now. Nice job. And we're going to put another jump spell into that single compartment. 
Plus we have the party wizard, which I'm gonna completely spam right over here, try to help take out those Tesla. We're getting through the base. The queen has some healer support, but there is a single target in front of, in front of us. Notice her ability is intact though. Party wizards are getting some good value too. We want that ice golem to get around the corner so we can help out. Let's hope the queen jumps into that single compartment, takes it out. The grand warden's gonna go down. Queen, we're gonna pop her ability right here, take out that entire compartment. It looks like we may actually be able to pull in a three star for you guys right here. Let's see if we can, if time permits, and if our queen can hold up. She's got a lot of fire on her. She's got the cannon, a mortar, an archer tower. Oh no, and now a giant bomb. She's gonna be going down. No, oh, we were, we were close, guys. We were close. The ice golem is going to be the last of our troops in this one. It's gonna end up being in a mid 80%. Uh, we were almost there. We were almost there. Could have probably done something a little bit more strategic. We didn't do the best with our jumps, but you know what, guys? I, you know, I should have probably popped my queen's ability a little earlier, taken out that inferno, kept the warden alive for that back support. Either way, what do you guys think of the super archers? Do you like them? Do you think they're worth it? Are you using them in Clash of Clans? Sound off down below. Also, let me know if you'd prefer that I hold off a day and do a video like this rather than that initial, this is the super archer video. Let me know what you guys want to see. Thank you for being here. Remember to use code ECHO whenever you purchase anything inside of Clash of Clans. And if you want to become a member, well, you do it right here. Remember on up, guys. Support your boy. I appreciate all of you. Remember to check out these videos before you go. Have a great day and be good.